What is up, everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed, and in today's video, I'm here with my buddy Eric Thomas Bland of Bland Services. We're gonna be taking a look at a couple window cleaning jobs that he has done recently. Eric, how's it going, man? What's going on, man? Super stoked to be here with you. Thanks so much for having me on, man. I, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming on. You know, you have a great story and I'd love to share it with my audience. So why don't we just go ahead and get into how you got started in the window cleaning business? So I was working at this place and I'm like, yeah, baby, I'm selling the shit out of everything, right? I'm, I'm going hard at it. And they're like, man, you're a little too too salesy for us. It was a little mom and pop shop. I'm like, really? All right. They're like, here, here's your pay for the next week. You're done. We're, we're firing you. So then I went home. I'm scared. I'm driving home. I'm, I'm nervous as heck because the girlfriend at that time, if, if she finds out I lost my job, I'm in trouble because I got to find another job. So I get there. I open up the door. She's blowing her eyes out. I'm like, hey, I'm not crying because of that. Hey, I fell out of love with you. I'm moving along. And I'm going, okay, my dad, my mom's gone. My brother's in Indiana. There's no way I can get to him, right? So I don't have anywhere to crash. So I take my little S10 pickup truck, a little green bean is what I call it. I drove it down to the truck stop. If you ever been in a truck stop, there's no showers there. There's none of that there, right? So I'm I'm nervous. I take my handgun out, put it on my lap. I'm thinking to myself, life is over. What kind of dad am I? Why why am I in this time of my life? And maybe you guys are questioning that out there. Maybe you guys are where I was at that time and you're thinking, man, everybody's calling me a loser. My parents are gone. You know, my best friend passed away. All this stuff is going on. And maybe you're there right now. And maybe you're like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I tell you what I did. And maybe it will motivate you guys to do the same thing or something similar to it. Okay. I'm not saying go start a window clean business, but I'm saying this. I took a negative situation and turned it into a positive. As I was sitting there in that pickup truck, I watched this stupid guy on YouTube. Um, it, it, he was window cleaning. I'm like, this guy's a moron. I could do that. I did that back when I was 18 years old. I could do this. And so I started focusing on what I could do rather than where I was. I wasn't focused on at that moment, the specific situation I am in right now, but where I could be. And I started to focus on that. And that made a huge change for me, man. Absolutely, man. That's an incredible story of just like, you know, going through it. So from that point, you picked up the window cleaning business. How did you initially get business from the beginning? I, okay, seriously, this is how I got business. I would go to strip malls. I would go to restaurants and I would literally boots on the ground, go knock on the door. They're like, hey, uh, you know, I just wanted to see if you had, wanted to, you know, window clean. At that time, I had no sales background really. So I didn't know what I was saying, but they're like, no, I don't need a window cleaner. I'm like, well, I'm just going to clean this one window, this door real quick for you. And they're like, no, come on. You can. I'm like, no, it's all right. And so they felt bad. They had to pay me. So I picked up 48 accounts in 24 hours. And I was, I still no have no way to this day. They always make fun of me. They're always like, remember when you had that little green truck with that handwritten board that said window cleaning on it? I was like, oh yeah, I remember. I remember. So when we talked initially on the phone, you told me about a 2020 effect. Can you go mm -hmm. ahead and tell um, the audience about the 2020 effect? Yes, audience, don't think that this is 2020 as the year, but 2020 as in uh, like the vision and all that bull crap. No, no, no. 2020, I started saying to myself, okay, if I took $20 and got 20 accounts, if I could just do 20 accounts a day at $20, that's $400 in one day, just washing windows, cleaning dirt off windows. This is brain, not brain surgery, nothing. And if I did that five days a week, like every American works out there, that's two grand washing windows. I'm in a pickup truck on the on 75 in Michigan going, I can make $2,000 in one week. Then you times that out by 52 weeks, okay, which amounts to $104,000. Not going to college, not having the education, parents and, and, and people around you telling you that you can't do it. You're going to start a window cleaning uh, company. That's a pipe dream, okay? Yeah, well, as you're looking at this video, the pipe dreams come true as long as you have hard work, dedication, and time management. Those are the three things that really kicked my butt into gear, man. So 2020, if you could just get 20 jobs a day, you knew right. that you could make a hundred grand in a year, right? A hundred thousand dollars in one year. I coach a lot of people. Do you think you make a hundred four thousand dollars a year? No. Okay, let's reverse engineer that. Start doing the math backwards, all the way down to the twenty dollars times twenty jobs. You understand what twenty dollars is? I understand what twenty dollars is. A lot of these people are putting twenty dollars in their gas tank every single time they go and put their gas in their car. They understand twenty dollars. Times that out by twenty, four hundred, four hundred times five, two grand, two grand times fifty-two weeks in the year. Don't take a week off, right? And six to seven days you can actually work and you'll get that. Now, if you times those jobs out by forty dollars times, you know, ten. 
than you can do in half the time. I focused so hardcore on that number until I reached it and and um, tears of joy started coming down. Um, and I'm telling you, you can do it. You can do anything you put your mind to. Seriously, if I can do it, you can do it. Disclaimer on this video is you got to work hard for it. You can become an overnight success with about five to seven years of working six to seven days a week, 100%. Absolutely. Well, um, Eric, the video is wrapping up here now. You want to go ahead and give us a word of the day? Yeah. Word of the day, 2020. Word of the day is 2020. If you made it this far in the video, comment 2020 down below. I'll heart your comment and hashtag you a real one. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. And until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace. See ya.